Neuralink update. Human trials begin for brain implant. If you're like most people, you probably have a lot of questions about brain implants. Will they become mainstream? How do they work? And can they really change our lives for the better? Well, after years of hard work and countless setbacks, the Neuralink project is finally moving forward and starting human trials. This could change the course of human history as we know it. So make sure to stay tuned for all the latest updates on this groundbreaking project. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Elon Musk Planet. Of According to Bloomberg, Neuralink, an Elon Musk-founded brain implant startup, is beginning the process of conducting human trials for its brain implant device. According to Musk, who co-founded Neuralink in 2016, the technology will enable someone with paralysis to use a smartphone with their mind faster than someone using thumbs. Musk, the founder of Tesla and SpaceX and the Time 2021 Person of the Year, Neuralink plans to implant the device into people's brains sometime in 2022. Neuralink hopes to treat neurological conditions in people with the aid of the implant. The Silicon Valley firm, which has already successfully implanted one of the artificial intelligence microchips in the brains of a macaque monkey named Pager and a pig named Gertrude, is now looking for a clinical trial director to oversee human trials of the technology. According to the job posting for the position in Fremont, California, as the clinical trial director, you'll work closely with some of the most inventive physicians and top engineers, as well as working with Neuralink's first clinical trial participants. It continued, you will lead and aid in the development of the team responsible for facilitating Neuralink's clinical research activities and developing the regulatory interactions that come with a fast-paced and constantly changing environment. Musk, the richest man in the world with an estimated fortune of $270 billion, expressed cautious optimism that the implants might enable tetraplegic people to walk. We hope to have this in our first humans, which will be people that have severe spinal cord injuries like tetraplegics, quadriplegics next year, pending FDA, food and Drug Administration approval. He told the Wall Street Journal CEO Council Summit, I think we have a chance with Neuralink to restore full body functionality to someone who has a spinal cord injury. Neuralink is working well in monkeys, and we're actually doing just a lot of testing and just confirming that it's very safe and reliable and the Neuralink device can be removed safely. According to Musk, the implant will be implanted flush with skull and charges wirelessly, so you look and feel totally normal. He suggested comparing the technology to replacing faulty or missing neurons with circuits. After this, he predicted, progress will speed up once we have devices in humans since it's difficult to have insightful conversations with monkeys. Neuralink, which is a number of well-known Silicon Valley backers, including Alphabet, the parent company of Google, is also hiring for the position of clinical trial coordinator to assist in assembling a team to manage the trial and communicate with regulators. The opportunity to change the world and work with some of the smartest and most talented experts from different fields is advertised to applicants. Neuralink is creating two pieces of equipment. The first option entails implanting a chip with electrodes into someone's skull and directing them into their brain. The chip, being developed by Neuralink, is about the size of a coin and would be implanted in a person's skull. An array of tiny wires, each about 20 times thinner than a human hair, fan out from the chip and into the patient's brain. The wires have 1,024 electrodes that can monitor brain activity and, in theory, electrically stimulate the brain. This data is wirelessly transmitted by the chip to computers, where researchers can study it. The second piece of equipment is a robot that will insert the chip into the human brain on its own. Similar to a sewing machine, the robot would operate by pushing a thin needle into the person's brain to insert flexible wires coming from a Neuralink chip. The robot was featured in a video that Neuralink released in January 2021. Musk claims that the machine will make implanting the Neuralink electrodes as simple as LASIK eye surgery. While this is an extremely ambitious claim, neuroscientists earlier told Insider in 2019 that the machine has some very promising characteristics. Professor Andrew Hires highlighted a feature that would automatically adjust the needle to help make up for a patient's brain movement during surgery, as the brain moves along with the person's breathing and heartbeat during surgery. The robot is currently 8 feet tall, and its design was created by Woke Studios, while Neuralink is continuing to develop its core technology. In 2020, Neuralink demonstrated one of its chips embedded in a pig named Gertrude. The demonstration was proof of concept, showing how the clip could accurately predict Gertrude's limb positioning while walking on a treadmill. As as well as record neural activity when the pig snuffled around for food. Musk stated that the pig had been living with the chip embedded in her skull for two months. During the demonstration, Gertrude's Neuralink device, which had been implanted in her brain, transmitted live data as she snuffled around. In April 2021, Neuralink took its animal demonstrations a step further by demonstrating a monkey controlling a video game with its mind. The video of the macaque monkey, Pager, playing video games like Pong for banana smoothie rewards was made public by Neuralink. Pager used a joystick 
joystick that wasn't connected to the gaming system to play the games, which meant that he moved his arm while using brain signals to move the cursor. A chip implanted into a person's brain could soon aid in the treatment of neurological conditions such as Parkinson's. The development of more advanced neural interface technology, such as that offered by Neuralink, may make it easier to diagnose and treat severe neurological diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Stay to the end to find out what Musk said about AI and Neuralink. According to Professor Andrew Hires, another such use could be giving people the ability to mentally operate robot prosthetics. In a 2019 interview, Hires said, the first application you can imagine is better mental control for a robotic arm for someone who's paralyzed. He added that electrodes in a patient's brain may be able to replicate the sensation of touch, enabling the patient to exert fine motor control over a prosthetic limb. The first practical use of Neuralink's chip, the company hinted, would be to enable control of smartphones and laptops by quadriplegics. On July 29th, 2021, Neuralink announced that it had secured a $205 million Series C funding round from investors that included Google's GV, formerly Google Ventures. The company stated in its announcement that assisting quadriplegic people may be the first commercial use of the chip. Quadriplegia is characterized by partial or complete paralysis of all four limbs. The first indication this device is intended for is to help quadriplegics regain their digital freedom by allowing users to interact with their computers or phones in a high bandwidth and naturalistic way. The funds from the round will be used to take Neuralink's first product to market and accelerate the research and development of future products. Neuralink stated in a blog post. Musk stated during the Wall Street Journal CEO Council Summit in December 2021 that the first humans into whom Neuralink hopes to implant its devices are those with severe spinal cord injuries like tetraplegics, quadriplegics. Elon Musk also claims that Neuralink's chip could be used to merge human consciousness with artificial intelligence in the long run, though experts are skeptical of this. Although Musk has emphasized Neuralink's near-term applications, he frequently associates the company with his concerns about artificial intelligence. Musk believes that by using Neuralink technology, humanity will be capable of achieving symbiosis with artificial intelligence. In 2019, Musk told podcast host Lex Friedman of Artificial Intelligence that Neuralink was intended to address the existential risk associated with digital superintelligence. We will not be smarter than a digital supercomputer, Musk added. So if you can't beat him, join him. Musk has made numerous speculative claims about the enhanced abilities that Neuralink could provide in 20 2020, Musk predicted people would be able to save and replay memories like in Black Mirror or telepathically summon their car. Elon Musk also claimed that the Neuralink device will be able to cure tinnitus by 2027. Tinnitus is a neurological condition that causes ringing or buzzing in the ears when no external source is present. Tinnitus is a common problem that occurs when the vestibular cochlear nerve, which connects the inner ear to the brain, is damaged as a result of prolonged loud noise, injury, or lack of blood supply. Tinnitus cure has remained elusive. Currently, treatment focuses on masking the sound or teaching the patient to ignore it. The Neuralink prosthesis is currently connected to the cerebral cortex, the brain's surface layer. This is where the device can help the brain recover from damage to its ability to process motor sensory input or output. Musk has also made absurd claims about the medical applications of Neuralink's technology. At one point, he claimed that the technology might solve autism. During an appearance on the Artificial Intelligence podcast with Lex Friedman in November 2019, Elon Musk stated, that Neuralink could one day solve a lot of brain-related diseases, citing autism and schizophrenia as examples. Autism is classified as a developmental disorder rather than a disease, and schizophrenia is classified as a mental disorder by the World Health Organization. These claims could come off as ambitious. However, the underlying science is undisputed. Since the first cochlear implant was inserted in a patient with hearing loss in the early 1960s, neural implants have helped people. There has been a significant advancement in the 60 years that have since Pass. Neuralink is a class 3 medical device, which is the riskiest category according to the FDA. Neuralink must successfully pass the stringent FDA regulatory checks before human trials can begin. Following FDA approval, Neuralink will recruit volunteers from the human population and begin the consecutive round of trials. So, there you have it, great people. When do you think the device will be launched? And do you think it will work as they claim? Please let us know in our comment section. If you found this video helpful, please press the like button and subscribe subscribe to Elon Musk Planet, more content like this.